Bonjour, bonjour, adjectives part six and group six. Today we are looking at adjectives that double their last letter when modifying feminine nouns. And we do need to add S's for plural nouns. Good is bon, bonne. It's one of those adjectives that goes before the noun it modifies. How would you say it's very good using our cow very? C'est vachement bon. Remember to use the masculine adjective with C. It's or that's. Idée is idea. Here we have a light bulb wearing a skirt because idée is feminine. Good idea. So good comes before. Bonne idée. Bonne idée, like the wheel. Salmon is saumon. It's masculine. Le saumon. The salmon seems really good. To seem is to have the air. Le saumon a l'air vraiment bon. The salmon has the air vraiment truly good. You could say le saumon a l'air d'être to be vraiment bon. Cute, sweet, pretty. Is mignon. G N is a n sound. You cannot hear the G. Mignon. Mignon. That's sweet. Thank you. C'est mignon. Merci. Using vous, your daughter is very pretty. Votre fille est très mignonne. I double L is pronounced E, fi. It's not fil. It's pronounced fi. You have family, which is fa mi. Many people pronounce this incorrectly. So daughter is fi, family, fa mi. I double L is a E sound. Except for ville, town, village, village, mille, M I double L E, 1000, and million. Okay, if not, it is an E sound. Fee. Here's a GN again. Lam agneau. You cannot hear the G. GN is a ny, ny, ny sound. Agneau. Masculine. Lagneau. An agneau. Those lambs are so cute. Ces agneaux-là sont si mignons. Sont tellement mignons. You don't have to hook on the la. It does mean you're not saying these. But if it's obvious and you're pointing, you can just say, Ces agneaux sont si mignons. Over there, la bas. Ba means low. La bas, they're low, lower down. The lambs over there are really sweet. The word for really in French is truly. Les agneaux là-bas sont vraiment mignons. Truly. Vraiment. Nice or kind. Gentil. It sounds the same whether it's masculine or feminine. But the feminine one doubles the L and you add an E. Gentil. You've got that I double L E sound. Not gentil. There is not an L to be heard. Gentil. Be nice. Addressing vous. Soyez gentil. Be nice. Addressing to. Sois gentil. In short, they're not very nice. Bref, ils ne sont pas très gentils. Or an old female group. Bref, elles ne sont pas très gentils. Same in French is pareil. Like a ray of sunshine. Pareil. You double the L, add an E for the feminine. Pareil. They sound the same though. Please use pareil in the way that we would use the word similar. It's the same. 
we would say it's similar. The French don't put a the in. So it's similar, it's the same. C'est pareil. It's not the same. Ce n'est pas pareil. They're the same. Ils sont pareils. Or all feminine. Elles sont pareilles. They're not all the same. Ils ne sont pas tout pareils. Elles ne sont pas toutes pareilles. Big, large or fat is gros or grosse for feminine. You double the S and add an E. Gros and grosse. It's a big elephant. Elephant is masculine. C'est un gros éléphant. You don't have to join the T to the A or the S to the éléphant. You could say, c'est un gros éléphant. But often people will merge the sounds when there are vowels involved. C'est un gros éléphant. The S sounds more like a Z when it's between two vowels. Surprise! Feminine word, a surprise. Une surprise. La surprise. I have a big surprise for you. Addressing to. J'ai une grosse surprise pour toi. Beard is barbe. It's feminine, strangely enough. You need to think of a bearded woman. Barbe la barbe. Une barbe. Using two. Your beard is too big. Ta barbe est trop grosse. That is my brother when he did have une grosse barbe. And that's my little girl a few years ago. Business is affaire. It's feminine. If you use the word affaire in the plural, it means things as in stuff like Où sont mes affaires? Where are my things? Where's my stuff? But here it means business. Affaire, feminine. It's a very big business. C'est une très grosse affaire. Oily, fatty, greasy, in content, gras. Feminine, gras, with your double S E at the end. Fat or lipid, if you see on a label, for example, it will be labelled matière, which is a matter, matière grasse, feminine. Il y a assez de matière grasse. What does it mean? Il y a assez de matière grasse. Is there enough fat? What did you do on Shrove Tuesday addressing vous? Shrove Tuesday is Tuesday fatty, mardi gras. Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait mardi gras? You don't say on when you talk about days of the week, you go straight into the day. This meat, the word meat is feminine, this meat is a little too fatty for me. Cette viande est un peu trop grasse pour moi. If you want to talk about grease or body fat, the word is graisse. It's also feminine, graisse. Low, down, this lady is doing the limbo, is bas for masculine and basse for feminine. Remember la bas, over there, there low, down there. Niveau is level, it's masculine. Le niveau, un niveau. The level is too low. Le niveau est trop bas. The level is quite low. Le niveau est assez bas. Temperature is the same, but with a French accent. It's feminine. La température. Une température. 
The temperature is very low today. La température est très basse aujourd'hui. To lower the verb, to lower, like to lower down in the well, or to turn down, like to turn down the volume, is baisser, baisser. Antonyms, opposite words, antonyms, au, for high, and fort, for loud. Fort also means strong. Julien a baissé la musique parce que le volume était trop fort. What does it mean? Julien turned down, lowered the music because the volume was too loud. Thick is épais. Épaisse. For feminine with a double S, E at the end. Épais. Épais. You cannot call somebody thick like that, a bit stupid, it doesn't work in French. It is derogatory in a different way in French. If you call somebody épais or épaisse, you're saying they're a little bit chubby. Sauce is the same with a French accent. Sauce, la sauce, une sauce. The sauce is very thick. La sauce est très épaisse. The sole in your shoe semelle. It smells bad. Semelle. It's feminine. La semelle. Une semelle. I need, I have need of thick soles in my shoes. J'ai besoin de semelles épaisses dans mes chaussures. A line is ligne. You've got that GN again. You cannot hear the G because it's a ne sound. Ligne. It's feminine. Look how feminine it looks. What a pretty feminine looking line. Une ligne. La ligne. This line is thicker. Cette ligne est plus épaisse. Hair in French is masculine plural. My mother complains because in English we say hair. She says it's not singular. We have more than one. So hair is les cheveux. It's masculine and it's plural. So you need to make things agree in your sentence. My hair is very thick. Mes cheveux, the plural, mes Cheveux sont à très épais. Daily or every day something. Quotidien or quotidienne with a double N E. Q U in French is pronounced K. Okay, think of the word quiche. You don't call it a quiche. So it's not quotidien here. It's, imagine it's got a K there. Quotidien. Quotidienne. Le Monde is a daily newspaper. They would say a newspaper daily. Le Monde est un journal quotidien. News. What's the feminine for new? It's nouvelle. Les nouvelles. I listened to the daily news this morning. J'ai écouté les nouvelles quotidiennes ce matin. A task in French is une tâche. Une tâche with a little circumflex, a little pointed accent over the A. And that A means, did you know there used to be an S in this word in Old French? I don't know why we need to know, but sometimes it helps us with the English. We can guess it. Tâche means task, une tâche, la tâche. There's another word that's pronounced exactly the same way, tâche, without the circumflex, a little pointed accent on the top. This time it means a stain, like, oh, I've got a stain on my top. The verb tâche, with the little point, with the accent that used to mean there was an S in, Old French, 
means to try, to attempt. Tashi, without the circumflex accent on, means to stain. It's a daily task. C'est une tâche quotidienne. It's everyday life. C'est la vie quotidienne. And you will also hear, c'est la vie de tous les jours. C'est la vie de tous les jours. European. Européen. Feminine. Européenne. Union. Union. All I-O-N words are feminine. Union. European Union. European comes after. L'Union Européenne. Nationalities are not capitalized. Remember, all I-O-N words are feminine. Parliament. Parlement. Le Parlement. It's masculine. We get the word Parliament from the French to speak. Parler. It's where we gather together to speak. The European Parliament. Le Parlement Européen. Politics. We say it in the plural. The French say it in the singular way. La politique. European politics. La politique européenne. European Commission. All ION words are feminine. La Commission européenne. Parisian. For a man, Parisien. For a woman, Parisienne. I'm Parisian. If you are a man, je suis Parisien. Je suis Parisienne for a woman. So just like nationalities, it's not capitalized. A stay or a trip is séjour. You've got the, like, a little day trip. You've got the word jour in there, haven't you? Un séjour, le séjour. To take a short trip in French is to make a little day trip. Faire. Here we've got our DIY. He represents faire. Do it yourself, make it yourself. Faire, to do or to make. Faire un petit séjour. On a fait un petit séjour parisien. We took a short Parisian trip. Style, it's a masculine word. Style. Same spelling, French accent. Style, le style, un style. C'est un style parisien classique. It's a classic Parisian style. It's a classic Parisian building. C'est un immeuble ou un bâtiment parisien classique. Immeuble is often used for more residential buildings. Are they Canadian? I want you to try and guess these now. Ils sont Canadiens? Elles sont Canadiennes? A worry, the noun, a worry is un souci. Un souci. He's Australian. He never has any worries. Sorry about that. Il est Australien. Il n'a jamais de soucis. Have a guess what this means. It is weird. I will explain why after. L'homme autrichien a perdu son autre chien. The Austrian man has lost his other dog. Why am I saying that? I used to work on European projects and we had people coming from all different European countries. So people may say in French, you've had some French partners, where are the Austrians? Où sont les autres chiens? And it sounded to me like, where are the other dogs? Les autres chiens? 
food is nourriture. Nourishment. Nourriture. It's feminine. La nourriture. I love, I adore Italian food. Food Italian. Have a guess. J'adore la nourriture italienne. Flag is drapo, drapo. And dra is a sheet. So we've just torn a bit of the sheet off. Flag and drapo. It's the Brazilian flag. It's the flag Brazilian. C'est le drapeau brésilien. I love Indian cuisine. It's feminine. J'adore la cuisine indienne. What does this mean? Vous n'avez jamais goûté la cuisine lituanienne? Haven't you ever tasted Lithuanian cuisine? Cotton is the same, but with one T, with a French accent. Coton. It's masculine. Coton. It's Egyptian cotton. It's cotton Egyptian. We'll be doing more on the placement of adjectives in another lesson, so don't worry. Say some here. C'est du coton égyptien. Study is étude. Often S T S. P, S, C. The S will turn into an E, a Q accent. Study, étude. It's feminine. Une étude. C'est une étude israélienne. It's an Israeli study. So you can see a lot of nationalities ending ya and yen. AL adjectives become AUX in the masculine, the masculine, and not the feminine, the masculine plural. That's the same for nouns. You say un journal, deux journaux. So it's the same for adjectives. AL becomes O for the masculine plural. All feminine ones don't change. They sound the same. You just add an S. So for normal, you've got masculine, normal, masculine plural, normo, and feminine, both singular, and plural sound the same. Normal. We've got a normal distribution curve here. It's not normal. French love saying this. Ce n'est pas normal. Often in spoken French, the no will be dropped. C'est pas normal. A delay is un délai. Un délai. The Dili Lama has been delayed. It's masculine. So is the Dalai Lama. Dili. There are normal delays. There are delays normal. Il y a des délais normaux. You have to say some in French. We drop the some. The French do not. There aren't normal conditions. I-O-N words are feminine. Il n'y a pas de condition normale. It's not very original. The Mona Lisa. Ce n'est pas très original. You could say this as well to be sarcastic. To say, I haven't learned anything new. You're not telling me anything I don't know. <laughs> Ce n'est pas très original. You're not doing anything new there. Plan is plan. It's masculine. Le plan, un plan. Same spelling, French accent. Where are the original plans? We might say blueprints. The plans original, masculine. Où sont les plans originaux? Al becomes O if it's masculine plural. Using two. You always have original ideas. Tu as toujours des idées originales. Local. It's the same. Local. Unless it's masculine plural. Local. 
feminine local. An advert, if it appears in a newspaper, is une annonce, annonce. It's feminine. On TV, adverts are called publicité, also feminine. Julien put an ad in all the local newspapers. You say has put. Julien a mis une annonce dans tous les journaux locaux. Did you get your AUXs in? Medical. AL words are the same. Just say them with a French accent. Medical, unless it's masculine plural. Medico, medical. A record or a file. Un dossier, le dossier. Where are their medical records? Got the monkey there because it's going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Where, where, where? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Où sont leurs dossiers médicaux? Knowledge. La connaissance, connaissance. Using vous, you seem to have some medical knowledge. You have the air of having, to have, they would say in French. Vous avez l'air d'avoir de la connaissance médicale. So, between nouns and infinitives, you need a de. Tropical. Tropical. Tropico, tropical. Climate. Climat. Masculine. Le climat. Thailand, which is the same but with an E, and all countries ending in E are feminine. So, you have to say the Thailand. The Thailand has a tropical climate all year. La Thaïlande. Those two dots over the eye say, pronounce everything. La Thaïlande. There's no th in French. It has to be a hard T sound for TH. La Thaïlande a un climat tropical toute l'année. All countries ending in E are feminine. Most countries in French do end in E. We've been to several tropical countries. The word country, pays, is masculine. Nous sommes allés dans plusieurs pays tropicaux. You could use on, couldn't you? Because on is used a lot instead of nous. On est allé dans plusieurs pays tropicaux. It's a tropical illness. Illness is feminine. C'est une maladie tropicale. For these adjectives, you add a grave very grave accent for the feminine. So worried for a man is inquiet. I-N plus a consonant is an A sound. Inquiet. For the feminine, inquiet with a grave accent over that E. In English, we worry about. The French worry for. Inquiet, inquiet pour. I'm worried about him, for him. Je suis inquiet ou inquiète pour lui. Complete. Complet for masculine. Complete with your grave accent for feminine. It's a complete service. Service is masculine. It's a service complete. C'est un service complet. If anyone's ever been to La Belle Bretagne, beautiful Brittany, you may have tasted galette. Galette is a savoury pancake made with buckwheat flour and it's delicious. Je voudrais une galette complète, s'il vous plaît. Une complète, a complete when you're talking about galettes, is une galette avec oeuf. Jambon, fromage. It's the full works. Une complète. Secret. The same but with an English accent. Secret. Feminine. Secrète. Having an affair. An illicit affair is une aventure. Feminine. They had. Handbags. They had a secret affair. 
an affair secret. Ils ou elles ont eu une aventure secrète. So had the past participle is e handbags. Ingredient, just like the English ingredient, I-N, plus a consonant is un sound, ingredient, it's masculine. There's a secret ingredient in galettes. Il y a un ingrédient secret dans les galettes. So when you want to say e or one, it's un, not un, 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 like you're trying to say ant without finishing the word off. Un, ant, un, un. And the same for in plus a consonant, ingrédient. Same for I am, impossible. It's not as secret as that. Ce n'est pas si secret que ça. To keep is garder. Think of guarding. I'm going to keep. Garder also means to look after. Je garde les enfants. I'm keeping. I'm looking after the children. Using to. You have never kept my secrets secret. Tu n'as jamais gardé mes secrets, secrets. Discreet. Sounds very similar, but with a French accent. Discret. Discrète. She's not very discreet. Elle n'est pas très discrète. Décor, it's a French word, isn't it? Décor, le décor. The decor is quite discreet. Le décor est assez discret. Using vous, we're giving a command, Sergeant Major Time. Be discreet. Soyez discret. Soyez discrète. This time using to be discreet. Sois discret. Sois discrète. In English, we have a funny little expression saying let's. Then you add your verb, let's, which stands for let us. Here we have let's be, which is short for let us be. You are making a suggestion. Anything to do with us or we will end in ONS in French. So in French, to say let's be or let's whatever the verb is, you need to use the new form of that verb in the present tense without saying nu. Because you're making a suggestion. It's another sergeant major situation. It's called the imperative. The imperative is used for giving commands and making suggestions. It's only used with you and we. Like we say, be good. In French, there's two ways of saying you. So you've got two versions. Sois gentil. Be nice. Soyez gentil. But if you say let's be nice, soyons gentil. ONS. Soyons, let's be. Soyons discret. Soyons discrète. And that works for any verb. If you want to say let's eat, mangeons. Let's leave, partons. You use the new conjugation without the word nous for let's. Let's be brief. Soyons bref. Soyons brève. Let's not be naive. Now you start with the ne. Ne soyons pas. Ne soyons pas naïf. Ne soyons pas naïve. Let's not be impulsive. Ne soyons pas impulsifs. Ne soyons pas impulsives. Let's not be resentful. Ne soyons pas rancuniers ou rancunières. Let's not be rude, crude, foul-mouthed. 
Ne soyons pas grossiers. Ne soyons pas grossières. Let's be serious. Soyons sérieux. Soyons sérieuses. Let's be brave, courageous. Soyons courageux. Soyons courageuses. Here we're going over all those adjectives we started with. Let's not be jealous. Ne soyons pas jaloux, jalouses. Let's not be lazy, like the sloth. Ne soyons pas paresseux ou paresseuses. The word for sloth in French is un paresseux. Poor old thing. There's another word for lazy. Fainéant, fainéante. Ne soyons pas fainéants. Ne soyons pas fainéantes. Let's be fair. Fair in French is to be just. Soyons juste. Let's be sure. Soyons sûrs. Let's not be stubborn. Think of being pig-headed. Because you say the word tête. Ne soyons pas têtu. Let's not be impatient. It's the same bit with the French accent. Ne soyons pas impatients. Impatiente. Let's not be in too much of a hurry. To be in a hurry is to be pressed for time. Pressed. Ne soyons pas trop pressés. Let's not be too cheeky. To be cheeky, to take the mickey, is to be inflated. Ne soyons pas trop gonflés. Let's be nice. The word, one of the words for Al. Soyons chouette. Soyons sympa, which is short for sympathique. Let's not be selfish. Ne soyons pas égoïstes. Let's not be difficult. Ne soyons pas difficiles. Let's not be the first people there. Ne soyons pas les premières personnes là. Let's not be the last people there. Ne soyons pas les dernières personnes là. Et voilà les amis. Bravo. Thank you.